kind of crazy though because like you look at obviously last year everyone was talking about how good Dallas was they get in the playoffs a lot of people saying hey is this the team that can finally kind of you know break the seal and at least go to an NFC championship win a Super Bowl obviously they get embarrassed by the uh, the Packers in the playoffs but Jerry has been saying all off season hey listen we're all in you know they they understand kind of the time is now especially with McCarthy potentially being on his last year. Dak, obviously, you hear that if you're a Cowboys fan, that's got to be like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, lame Dak quarterback. Yeah, exactly. But then you <laughs> a lot also, of yeah, a lot of leverage <laughs> for sure, for sure. You look at the CD situation though, like, is that going to get done? That's still a big deal. And then in terms of just who they lost, like they lost Tyron Smith, they lost Tyler Biotish, so like two stalwarts on their offensive line. Got rid of Leighton Vander Esch, who kind of had always been hurt so you know that I I guess that's kind of a you know who knows but then also Michael Gallup who was their number two get rid of him and then he goes to the Raiders and just kind of retires out of nowhere really in terms of like who they brought in they got Tyler Guyton in the draft who you assume he's probably gonna they'll plug and play him on the offensive line somewhere but they brought Zeke back and that that's kind of like their big splash and then Michael Kendricks or was it Michael Kendricks or was it it was Eric Kendricks excuse mm-hmm. me so they bring him in and then obviously uh, Mike Zimmer's the new DC so it seems like we always talk about the Cowboys going into camp in the season and you know obviously the expectations are what they are but this team almost feels like it's not as good as the team was last year. Oh, no! And it's Mike McCarthy's last year on his contract! Potentially, oh, no. and then, but then you also you just look. I mean, like, their three best players all want new contracts, and so it's like it's kind of a uh, – if the Cowboys don't make it to an NFC championship or, like, go to a Super Bowl this year, like, there's a chance that the Cowboys of next year look much, much differently than what they look like right now. Wild time uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. And this is Jerry Jones, you know, kind of talking publicly after the court case with DirecTV or the lawsuit for the entire Sunday ticket thing. And in this from uh, Clarence Hill, and this is great reporting. We appreciate the hell out of it. Shout out to Florio for tipping us off to this entire thing at Pro Football Talk. You know, look, look at what Jerry Jones says after the uh, testimony in the Sunday ticket. That's exactly what I'm really trying to tell everybody is, frankly, I've got a better feel than other people because I have a sense of what revenues might be for the whole league, Jones said. And so that if you see me optimistic, then you must know that I think it's pretty good. If you see me a little cautious, you must know that I'm being cautious. I'm the best at looking around corners as far as body language and instincts. I'm better than anybody. Ooh. So are you being optimistic or cautious with Cowboys contracts? As Deion Sanders said, both. Jerry Jones replied. <laughs> All right, well, one thing's not like the other, okay? Because this answer right here that he gives in this paragraph about having a sense of what the future looks like is vastly different than the both situation <laughs> down there with optimistic being one of the options. It's like he has been one of the head media guys in the league for a long time. Because the Dallas Cowboys are on primetime all the time, people didn't know, actually, are you doing that so that you keep Jerry happy because Jerry's part of the media? Or are they doing that because the Dallas Cowboys fan base is so big? I think one thing kind of goes with the next, and Jerry has been able to operate and negotiate media deals in a fantastic fashion for the NFL. But him basically saying to the rest of the NFL, I have no idea what revenues are going to be. We just $14 billion is currently being asked of us in a – litigation in a lawsuit over the Sunday ticket shit. So he's wondering if salary cap's going to end up going back down from this entire Mm -hmm. thing. How would that even be possible with the way media is going? But that is kind of what he's indicating. He's like, so I'm going to wait and see how this entire thing goes. And he's like, I know more than anybody. That's wild to think about because Jerry has been a part of the information committee for a long time. And him just saying that out loud is like, everybody, all these big deals that are coming out, like, Better hold the fucking horses. Yeah. We, you know, we have no idea where this thing's headed. Going. That's basically what he said there and implied. For sure. So then if you couple that with, you know, I think it was at practice, a couple people were asking him about the DAC contract and just like, you know, where's kind of the disconnect? Why, why aren't we hearing anything about this? Like, are you going to be able to match the number that he wants? And Jerry just very quickly... Yes, I, I believe we will. But again, you know, it it all depends on how we do. Like he kind of just, it, it, it's like he doesn't know what to say. He doesn't want to say the wrong thing. He obviously knows Dak has leverage in this situation, so he doesn't want to give anything away. But you can't assume that if the Cowboys do do exactly what they did last year, they go to the playoffs, and everyone's talking about how this could be the team to kind of break the seal, and then they flame out in the first round. Like oh. there's no way that Jerry's going to give him sixty mil plus, and then on top of that, it's okay. McCarthy's out. What? If, what if you bring in a defensive coach? Like how much? Like it just it really is kind of almost like a this year is like a breaking point. I feel like for the Cowboys, like they really need to kind of figure out what's what's going to happen next. It'll go down in history for sure, no matter what happens or what takes place. And congrats to the Dallas Cowboys having to figure it out and. 
maybe they do all view it as one last hurrah here. Yeah. yeah. And hey, one last hurrah sure. as we go ahead and do that. And that's wild to think about with the Jerry Jones team. Going back to him saying, uh, I have more information than most people in this entire thing. So when I'm be I wonder how many times he's used that in negotiation. Oh. Hmm. Hey, listen, I actually know, so I'm not able to. <laughs> yeah, but what about these other deals that are at that fucker don't know. They're irrelevant. <laughs> they have no idea. That's a wild negotiation. But he is. He yeah. was the only one that negotiated in that deal. Yeah. Was he the only one paying attention? Very fascinating. Dallas Cowboys situation. Uh, On CD, you talking? No, no. You just your eyes closed. Yeah. I thought you were gone. I mm -hmm. thought you left us there for a second. <laughs> happy yeah. you are here. I'm here. Okay. I so, thought you were gone. No, no. Well, I'm happy that we're both here. That's good news for both of us. All parties are, are currently right. present. Yeah. Uh, back in the in the in the office studio you have at the house, better than in the car. We appreciate you joining us here. So let's go to the Dallas Cowboys. Clarence Hill reported uh, via uh, an interview of some sort where Jerry Jones talked about the future revenue of the NFL because of this Sunday ticket situation. Now this is being alluded to by a lot of people as being maybe a reason why Jerry Jones doesn't want to dump a bunch of upfront money to people at the current moment. Is that accurate? Is CD, Dak, Micah, Mike McCarthy, I mean, everybody seemingly is in a contract situation over there and Jerry's not spending. Why is that? What are we looking at? And and how does it all work out, you think, Shefty? Yeah, I, I don't believe that's why they haven't okay, reached deals with these people. Again, why is it that every other team in the league is signing players and they're not? So the Cowboys are going to lose wages here and not make certain amounts of revenue. The Dallas Cowboys, the cash printing factory, that's the Dallas Cowboys. And they don't have enough to pay their own players, but teams like the Dolphins and Packers and everybody else does. The Cowboys are cash poor all of a sudden? I don't think so. <laughs> well, then what is the deal? Well, How does it work out? Are they waiting to see? What do you think happens? I just think that they are in a tough situation. They have allowed themselves to be... I think passive here this offseason. And when you are reactive rather than active, you put yourself into difficult positions. And they put themselves in a tough spot here all along. With C.D. Lamb, it would have been great to be out in front of it to get that deal done before some of these other wide receiver deals done. Now, um, the thing here is that C.D. Lamb was very smart. He wanted to wait for these other deals to get done because it was only going to elevate his market. Dak Prescott is in a situation where it's just incredibly difficult for the Cowboys to negotiate with him because of essentially what they gave him in the past. They gave him the ability not to be tagged. They were the ones that franchised him twice before. They were the ones that have put themselves in a situation where now, if and when he hits the open market after the offseason, his price is going to be through the roof. He's going to set the record, highest paid player in NFL history. It's going to be a number that we haven't seen before in the National Football League. So to get Dak to do a deal now, you'd have to pay a ridiculous amount of money, a, num a number that the Cowboys haven't been willing to get to. And I think everybody, frankly, would be a little surprised at how high Dak's price climbs after the season if he remains unsigned. Mm -hmm. So... That's that deal. And Micah Parsons, that deal's not going down if he keeps playing the way he does. So they're just in a spot. I don't believe it's direct TV money or losses. They're just in a tough spot trying to re-sign guys that are hard to re-sign right now.